In our last lecture, we know the matrix about exponential. I connect A minus J connect BK. It is a diagonal matrix. So it's block diagonal matrix more precisely. So we have the matrix A a minus lambda two b k, a minus lambda n b k. So to determine the eigenvalues of this matrix, we know we cannot change the eigenvalues of a. So what we can do, we can design the controller gain K to make all the matrix A minus lambda I B K. So their eigenvalue, the real part of their eigenvalue are negative. So our task will be show you how to design the K to make all eigenvalues of N minus one matrix have negative real parts. So we need to find the matrix K such that A minus lambda I B K are simultaneously stabilized. So we have n minus one systems. So how to find k? Now let me directly tell you the answer. You can solve the algebraic Riccati equation. So if a and b is stabilizable, okay? If a and b is stabilizable, then we pick q. Here, you pick any Q, is a positive definite matrix. Then you solve, this is given, and A and B are given. So lambda two is the smallest eigenvalue from the Laplace matrix. So by solving this Riccati equation, then you can find some command in my lab, how to solve this Riccati equation, okay? If Q is a positive definite matrix and AB is stabilizable, you can always find a positive semi-definite matrix B. Then you can parameterize the gain by half B transpose P. Now let's verify how it works. Let's say for any matrix, let's give, let me give you the general result. So for any matrix, let's say we have a system matrix, okay? A, if all eigenvalues of A have negative real parts, okay? Then there exists matrix P, A, and plus A transpose P is less than zero. If such P is equivalent condition, okay? If we can find such P to make this inequality satisfy, we know all eigenvalues of A have negative real parts. So if all eigenvalues of A have negative real parts, we know such P, P is greater than zero. Such P exists, can make PA plus A transpose P is less than zero. 
Now we're using this result to verify that all eigenvalues a minus lambda i b k for i from two to n, all the eigenvalues have negative real parts. So to apply this result, we can use the P we found through the algebraic Ricard equation. Then we want to verify if all eigenvalues of A minus lambda I B K has all the eigenvalues have negative real parts. Then we can use this P times a minus lambda i b k transpose p. If this one is less than zero, then we have the conclusion that a minus lambda i b k, all eigenvalues have negative real parts. So let me expand it. So we have PA this term and A plus A transpose P. Then we have this term minus lambda I P B K minus lambda I K transpose B transpose P. Now let's replace K by half B transpose P. Then we have half B transpose P. We have half. So K transpose will be P and B. As we notice that these two terms are the same, so we have P A plus A transpose P minus lambda I P B B transpose P. Then from the algebraic Riccati equation, we know, so P A, A transpose P is equals to lambda two P B B transpose, then minus Q, okay? Then we minus, take this one here, minus lambda i p b b transpose p we know so let's combine this first this first two term we have lambda 2 minus lambda i we know lambda 2 is the smallest positive eigenvalues okay it will be Lambda two will be less than lambda i for any i from two to n. So this term is less than or equal to zero. Then the minus k, because we pick q, positive, sem positive definite. So minus q will be negative definite. So we have the whole term is less than zero. If the whole term is less than zero, we know A minus lambda I, B, K is a stable system. 